to give you a little look here at uh, nighttime activities here in Tlaquepaque, which is a lovely part of Guadalajara, Mexico. This is Calle Independencia, which is the main street, and it's a pedestrian street. And it has lots of lovely buildings and restaurants. It's a great entertainment area, very, very safe. You can walk here without feeling any kind of uh, any kind of discomfort in terms of safety or anything like that. And um, during the daytime, it's actually full of uh, displays of all the different art stores that are located around here because Tlaquepaque is extremely famous for its um, arts and crafts and uh, all sorts of different uh, different articles that you can buy of different materials. This is a pretty famous place actually, at Sergio Bustamante, who I think has stores in all sorts of different locations. And this is one of his stores. And uh, just wanted to give you a little view of this lovely pedestrian area here. I'm gonna plunk myself down in one of the restaurants here. Um, restaurants are very, very nice looking with indoor patios. And uh, let me see what this place looks like. I'm just gonna peek in. Very nice looking place, Casa Fuerte. Let's have a little peek in here. See, very nice ambient, interesting places. Here's another entrance area. <coughs> Excuse me. So I haven't quite figured out which restaurant I'm going to go to yet. Um, but I'm going to go into one of the places very shortly. You can see those people walking here, enjoying themselves, sitting down. It's quite a lovely temperature at the moment, actually. Probably about 20 degrees Celsius, which is very enjoyable. And I'm now walking in the direction of the main square. Traffic is allowed to cross from this direction to that direction. And uh, here we're getting closer to the Cathedral Square of Tlaquepaque. Here's another place. Patio is the name of this restaurant. We have a peek in there. Oh, there's a big patio in here. Okay. Mm, doggy. Okay, now this is the main entrance to this restaurant. And that's probably going to be the one that I'm going to have dinner at, but I just thought I'd walk up the street a little bit more. See, there's still some artists selling their wares. Jewelry in this case. And uh, in this direction you get onto the uh, Cathedral Square here in Tlaquepaque. Here is another nice looking restaurant. This one is called, let me see, it's got to be a name here. This one is called Real San Pedro. That's what it looks like here. Is that right? Huh? It doesn't really tell me the name of it, but it's got a nice statue in front of it. And... One thing in Mexico, you have to be very careful. Oh my god, look how the cathedral is lit up. Let's see if this guy's gonna let me across. Um, right here, I'm heading towards the square in front of the cathedral. Um, what I was going to say is you have to be really careful here with traffic because pedestrians don't have as many rights as in Canada or in the United States, so you better wait if somebody's coming and you let them pass. Because chances are they're not going to stop for you. So, now I have reached the square in front of the cathedral which is a lovely square and you can see people sitting here in the evening underneath the trees on the benches. What a wonderful little spot. 
we go over in this direction. I love these uh, atmospheric Mexican squares. They're just so beautiful. You see a lovely fountain here. And then right in the middle of the square is what they call the kiosco, which is the bandstand. And in the back you have uh, another church. I don't know exactly what the name of it is right now, but this is the main church of Tlaquepaque. Just a beautiful building right here in the center of town.